do it in a house as you this, I'm not good at this. Hello everyone, it's Alison, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is just going to be a little brief overview on what borderline personality disorder is, or BPD for short, um, because words are long. <laughs> um, so borderline personality disorder, also known as emotionally unstable personality disorder, it's a personality disorder and it's often defined by um, intense relationships and intense emotions, a lot of intense stuff, um, unstable senses of identity and risky and impulsive behaviours. So the first thing I guess we could look at is what are the symptoms of BPD and stuff. So. There's like different categories based on the four things that I've just mentioned. So the first symptom of BPD is emotional instability. So you can feel either everything or nothing. That's an example. You feel your emotions very, very intensely. So if something was minorly upsetting to the world, it can really hurt someone with BPD. For example, for me myself, whenever like a plan changes or like a plan gets cancelled it really really gets to me and it's yeah it's it's because when it's not like feeling upset like oh well that's a shame it's like oh my god this is so terrible and you feel so so upset and I tend to find myself that when I get into this feeling upset over something that appears to be minor to society because of previous experiences I've had with this I often get angry at myself and then I get intense feelings of anger towards myself going why do I feel like this I shouldn't be feeling like this it's not okay to feel like this but what we kind of need to remind ourselves is you have emotions to whatever extent you feel them that's okay you know it's okay to feel things and it's something that a lot of people, including myself, need to kind of address that. You know, it's okay to feel. If you feel sad over something, that is, I mean, it's not ideal to be sad, but it's okay to feel sad over something. You need to acknowledge your feelings in order to move past them. So yeah, your mood can be very intense. You can feel very, very happy and very, very sad. And it can also change so drastically. So you can be super super happy and literally seconds later you can be suicidal it's it's weird it's weird um so yeah the next type of symptom is disturbed patterns of thinking so unhelpful thinking so upsetting thoughts thinking this one is quite common in bpd it's um feeling that you're a terrible person a lot of negative self-talk it's you know, just oh I'm a terrible person I feel like I shouldn't exist you know I should just die and you know really upsetting things and you uh, you can also um, hear voices and these voices can say you know harm yourself um, which just reading that on the NHS website I'm like wow that explains a lot of me as a 14 year old um, but yeah, it can also be um, strange, like, psychotic thoughts is what some people would describe it as. So, um, kind of like thinking people are up to get you and um, I know that some of the disturbed thoughts, disturbed thoughts, some of, some of the disturbed thoughts that I've had before in my experiences is that my friends are just spies and they're using me to get information they're using me to find out what really grinds my teeth and then they'll use that against me um also yeah people are constantly out to get you it can be confused with um psychosis and other psychotic behaviors but it's bpd <laughs> um i mean it can be psychosis but yeah so some people with BPD often have psychotic episodes because of the disturbed thinking patterns. So the next category of B 
BPD symptoms is my favorite category. It's impulsive behaviors. So there's two different types of impulsive behaviors you have. Um, so the first one is um, self-harm and suicidal active <laughs> activeness. Um, so that's one category. Um, and it's sort of seen like something that I personally thought was just BPD was, oh yeah, BPD, you just harm yourself a lot and you just try to kill yourself a lot, when really there's a lot more to that. Um, so that's kind of like the thing people see the most. Like it's the mo like it's the thing I saw the most. So I think for people who do know about BPD, it's like, okay, yeah, you know, you're really impulsive. But there's also another side to the impulsive behavior. So um, spending habits, you can literally just spend all your money in one go um you drinking substance abuse smoking um un unprotected sex gambling all those sort of impulsive behaviors are associated with um bpd um so it's kind of like there's two sides to the impulsive behaviors there's a side where you're harming yourself and then there's a side where you're harming yourself but you're not like you know what i mean right it's like there's two different sides of it um i guess and yeah that's impulsive behaviors now this category of symptoms is personally my favorite <laughs> it's unstable relationships so you can be very i'm gonna say possessive with a very loose term it's just the first word that came up in my head so a lot of people describe me as being a clingy person um, and yeah I am quite clingy if um, people with BPD they can get attached to people very very easily um, and they can get into very intense relationships but these relationships are also unstable as well and you have like the constant fear that everyone's gonna leave you especially this favorite person you admire so very much you constantly have this fear that they're gonna lay they're gonna leave you and it's terrifying yes um and then it's even more terrifying when they actually leave you because that's where a lot of the impulsive behaviors and all of the other symptoms of bpd come out when your favorite person finally leaves you if they leave you sometimes they don't I have never had that experience though <laughs> um, but yeah so if it does come to a point where your favorite person leaves you it can cause you to feel very angry very upset of course um, but in a way that might appear unnatural um, disturbed thinking patterns start coming up a lot more I know that when people leave me, all of my mental health symptoms just sort of amplify themselves because it's like, to me, it's like this favorite person is like a coping mechanism. Um, and it's sort of, to me, it's like, I really love this person. They make me feel safe. They make me feel happy. And if they were to leave, I wouldn't feel any safety or happiness. And then that kind of brings back all of the not so nice symptoms and um a lot of people um this is something that happens a lot of people when their favorite person or their attachment leaves them they harm themselves it's something that happens and it's not something that we do in order to go oh yeah you know like you can't leave me because i'm gonna do this it's not us trying to be manipulative it's just we feel so upset and angry and confused and scared and all these negative emotions and it's 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 a coping mechanism that people with mental health issues have and you know when you lose your happiness and your safety you tend to go to unhealthy behaviors wow yeah so a lot of people over the years have called me clingy um and yes i am clingy but it's for years i thought it was just me as a person being clingy but really it's no Alison. you have a mental disorder 
and that kind of coincides with why you're clingy. Um, so now, yeah, I'm clingy, but I'm working on it. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it, and it's good to work on things. It's a, gonna be a very long and possibly hard and painful process to go through, but I'm working on it, and I'm gonna get through it, hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, those are like the symptoms of BPD and stuff. Um, BPD is, there isn't really like a known cause for BPD. I mean, it could, it could literally be anything. It could be like genetics. It could be like chemicals in your brain. I know there's like certain parts of your brain that are like smaller in people with BPD, um, or like larger. So I think like, I don't know the specifics <laughs> cause I'm not a scientist, but it's like, the one that's in charge of emotions is a lot bigger and the one that's in charge of rational thinking, like the two at the front, they're smaller. Um, that's seen in people with BPD. Um, there's also a link to trauma with BPD. If you've gone through some sort of trauma or neglect in your childhood, then that can cause BPD as well. Yeah, yeah, I found it, I found it, I found it. Um, so the um, amygdala... <laughs> The amygdala, it um, has a part in regulating emotions. That can be different in some BPD. Um, the hippocampus, which regulates behavior and self-control, that can be smaller. Smaller, right? I think so, yeah. And then the orbitofrontal cortex, which is involved in planning and decision-making. So I had the words, I just didn't have the names and the parts of the brain. I just had to scroll down. <laughs> So yes, in regards to treatment with BPD, um, the most popular treatment is dialectal behavioral therapy, otherwise known as DBT. Um, it's something I was almost put on, um, and it's basically when you go into the mental health system, your therapy is most likely going to be CBT. Um, but if you have a diagnosis of BPD, they will just be like, okay, DBT um so it's sort of that so the treatment for borderline personality disorder is mainly um therapy talk therapy even art therapy they also give you like care programs and sort of like crisis interventions because to help with these impulsive thoughts and actions um and like you can also have medication though it's not like a standard like medication is just to kind of help with the mood um, but the main treatment is therapy so yes that's borderline personality disorder I kind of rambled a bit much about how my personal experiences with BPD happened which was meant to be another video but hey it kind of helps to explain things I guess so if you guys have any more questions about BPD and what it's like um you can comment you can message any of my social media i am open to anything so yeah i hope you found this video useful and uh yeah i'll see you in a video bye bye